Now, inflation is a universal concern, and Nigeria is no exception. Rapid price increases in construction materials, labor costs, and even land prices can disrupt project timelines and budgets. In such an environment, it becomes essential to reassess strategies and adapt to the change in landscape. Now, my guest, Oladeji Adeoye, a seasoned professional with a diverse background spanning industries such as oil and gas, hospitality and telecom, with almost a decade of real estate expertise, is the visionary founder of Fine Bricks Properties and Investment Limited. His dedication to alleviating Nigeria's housing deficit propels his leadership, where he guides a motivated team. He joins me now as we discuss uh, how to unravel the ill elements contributing to failures in real estate startups. Many thanks for joining me, Oladeji. Thank you. All right, like I said in my introduction, Nigeria is actually facing its own share of inflation and other macroeconomic challenges. But specifically, what are the foundational aspects that uh, you know, militate against um, the growth of um, real estate, specifically for startups who fail in less than five years? Um, thank you, my brother. Um, I think the first thing that we need to know is information. Um, you need to understand the dynamics of the market. It's very, very important. The yeah, real estate business is just like every other business. But the, the, the truth of the matter is there are things that you need to know that are, are unique to the real estate industry. So before you can say you want to start up anything, First, you need an information. Mm. You need to understand the dynamics. Every business is has his or own, I mean, its own dynamics, sorry. Every business has its own dynamics. And if you don't understand this, there's no way you can be able to do whatever you need to do. Um, after understanding this, then you need to also know what, you need to create your niche. What exactly am I doing? What, what value am I bringing to the table? When you know all those things, then you can be able to plan your way through. A lot of, um, it's good that today we have um, youth, you know, youth are taking over businesses. We're having CEOs everywhere, managing directors everywhere. Mm. You know, the Gen Zs are taking over, which is good. I'm, I'm also a Gen Z. Yeah. Mm, so really? <laughs> so okay. it's, it's fine. But, but, but we need um, to plan. A lot of us don't plan. We just jump into it because my friend is doing it. And I see that my friend do not have a car today. Tomorrow he's driving a car. Ha, I want to do it too. So yeah, it's good. It, any business that is uh, viable, you see a lot of persons that wants to do it. But again, you need to plan your way. For us, we plan, we have a milestone. Mm. Three years, five years, 10 years. Mm. And we know what we want to achieve. In three years, we will no one want to achieve in five years. We will no one want to achieve in, in uh, ten years. So you need this. Mm. It's very, very important to plan. The first, like I said, is to understand it. Have an information about it. Understand the dynamics. Then you need to then plan. Okay, I've understood it. This is the way I want to run it. This is the way I want to do it. So these things are basics and they are important. They are fundamentals. If you don't have this, there's no way you can move forward. It is when you are able to plan that you know the kind of team you want to bring in. Mm. All right, thank you, Deji. I know the place of, um, you've talked about education and, and planning, but for startups who actually attend to fail in, in less than five years, where do they go to get um, the right education and knowledge and know exactly how to plan? You talked about milestones, five, 10, 15 years. How do they get this knowledge? Okay, so um, the, the thing is, um, Learning is continuous. You can't stop it. You need to um, keep learning. For us, we do that too. However, experience is also important. Mm. Um, there's a place of mentorship, and there's a place of you having the experience. Now, what the, the mentorship, uh, the mentor will do for you is to uh, streamline your uh, 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 scope of experience to tell you that, okay, you don't need to go that far. I've gone there before. I've seen the way it is. You don't need to go that same way. You can then look at it and say, okay, I think I, need, I can play around it instead of going through maybe uh, going like um, a five years, whatever. You can do it within a year and still achieve what you need to achieve. And there are a lot of real estate uh, uh, schools around. Uh, we that are uh, established, we also train people to, to do that, you know. But 
if if you don't learn these things, if you don't learn it, there's there's no way you can succeed in it. So there's a lot of uh, a platform, even online, you can learn how to do real estate business. Is just like every other business. It's just that you need to just understand some um, uh, customized or, or unique dynamics about it. But mm. it's just like every other business. It's like every other business, but yes. then it's not an all-commerce affair. Yeah, 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 maybe, maybe it's not. But mm. again, uh, like I said, if you understand business, you can do real estate. All you need to do is just get a mentor that can mentor you, you know, understudy some persons that have mm. achieved in not just any other person, people that have truly achieved, that you can say, okay, these ones have done this, they have achieved this. If you want to go into construction, I can't just jump into construction. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I studied accounting, mm. but now I'm doing construction. Right. I understood some persons. I understood, I asked questions, I went to schools. I, I, you know, I'm running a program um, in Lagos. I've done that before. I'm starting another one in Lagos Business School that tells me, you know, teaches me some things I need to know about the real estate. So you can learn in all aspects of life. Either go to uh, mm -hmm. the real estate in institution that we have around, the good one, not just any one, or get a mentor that can, that can help you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or you look for, you, you join a, a, a real estate team yes. and understudy them so okay. that you can have a practical experience. So the place of learning and education cannot be overemphasized. Okay, let's talk about some people, because I don't know if it's uh, them putting their horse before the cart or cart before the horse, as the case may be. But the thing is that over time, you find some of them, I don't know if they're just being unscrupulous or something, but they tend to promote lots of uh, business, um, real estate opportunities. They tell you, you can invest in this estate, you can invest here. So over time, they tend to collect people's money, you know, and they're supposed to allot lands, uh, landed properties to them. But over time, you find that, that there are issues. Is it that they did not do their right planning or they did not set so the land grabbers or the community chiefs or what exactly are the issues? Because they tend to collect money and at the end of the day, people are looking for them how to scale them. <laughs> so... I, I was somewhere and I was discussing about the pitfall um, in um, uh, real estate investment. I think mm. I mentioned this too. Yes. Um, any business in the world, or maybe in Nigeria, knowing the world, that is viable. You see a lot of persons want to go into it. True. The business is selling. It's making money. I see my, my mates, they are driving good cars. Yeah. They are not doing yahoo yahoo. You ask them what are they doing? They say they are into real estate business. Oh, so much says like blood money. Exactly. So the business is booming, viable, mm. and any business that is viable, you see a lot of persons going to it. Mm. Now, it, it, it takes time. It takes cons consistency for for people who are really serious to prove a point. It's not everybody that is going into the business that really want to add value. Some mm -hmm. just want to go there. In fact, these days, they've turned real estate business to a showbiz business. How so? Yeah, because I want to drive the best car. Um, someone that is selling land somewhere that is having just three acres is driving a car of 80 million. Is having like four different mopos. Is having PA. Is having this. Is having that without proper planning. Mm. So a, a lot of uh, distraction is there. Now, when the purpose. There's a say that when a purpose of a thing is not known, mm. abuse is inevitable. Mm. If you know the reason why you're doing this and you really want to stay, I tell, my, I tell my client, I tell people that I don't want to be in the business because I just want to make money. Yeah, I want to make money, but I also want to add value. I want, to, I want people to talk about my business the way they're talking about Coca-Cola today. Mm. I want people to talk about my business the way they are talking about the Dangotes, the Alabukuns of today. Mm. I heard that Alabuku is over 100 years. I also want to do, run a business like that. And in fact, I, I, was, I was partnering with some persons before, but when I saw that they got distracted, mm. I had to leave to, to start up my own because I know where I'm going. I'm so it's focused. about focus. It's about focus. You have to be focused. If you're mm. not focused, you get distracted. A lot of, like I said, money distracts you. You see money, you look at your account, you've seen 100 million, 200 million, 500 million. Ah, you're looking at, okay, what can I buy now? Okay, I want to travel this, I want to go here, I want to do that. Without doing what you are supposed to do. Due diligence. Hmm. And when you have too much money, you just keep throwing it everywhere. 
And that's the place of the information I talked about earlier. Yes. It's important that you are well informed before you go into the business. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of, the more the money, the more the challenges. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very risky. The challenges, real estate can take you up in a second and bring you down less than a second. Mm. So it's, 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 it's crazy. So you have to understand this. If you don't, there might be a problem. Okay, fine. Uh, in as much as you talked about the information and uh, being focused and all of that, can we look at other pitfalls that are inherent in the real estate um, market? Um, there, 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 there are a lot of there are a lot of pitfalls in, in, in the real estate market. Um, the first one is information. Um, another thing is um, um, financing. Mm. Financing is key. I thought um, there was so much money to play with in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's a, yeah, there is, okay. but it's for, it's for those that are well established. I will okay. put my money if I don't trust you. I will put my money if I can trust you. Okay. Or probably I have someone that can vouch for you. Mm. So if you don't get those things, if you're just starting up, you might not be able to get that. Mm. So funding might be your problem. And I pray that Nigeria is, they will change mm. soon because it's not really helping. Banks are not even looking at, at your side because you are... You are just new. Mm. They can't. They can't. They can't tell what you can do. They can't. But you don't so, have a track record. Exactly, no track record. So, funding is another problem. If you don't have good financing, is a problem. Aside from people borrowing you money, mm. there are a lot of regulations that you need to you need to abide with. Abide with, and failure to do this can bring you down. If you are doing construction, there are there are processes. If you don't do all those things, it can bring you down. But because I want to quickly make money, I don't have good intention initially. Mm. I just want to quickly make money. I won't go through those processes. I want to bypass the process. Mm. And if issues happen at the end of the day, it affects me. Okay. Another problem, again, that I can talk about is um, uh, a client retention. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't have the ability to retain, retain our clients. clients. Yes. Why is that an issue, really? Yeah, it is because um, if you are if you are servicing me, if I need your service and you are able to service me, you are able to provide uh, my 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 desire for mm -hmm. me. You should be able to follow through. A lot of us don't do that. Now I can pick my calls. Client can call me. Just because I have some millions of Naira in my account, I'll give my phone to the PA. They want to talk to me. They can't mm. talk to me. Even my, my, my partners in the business can't talk to me. People can't advise me. I feel I know too much because I've been able to do one or two things. You know, Those mm. things are also a problem. Okay. So, so having looked at that, now I know some people started business or the real estate business. Let's say uh, they still start startups, as it were. They started that maybe some two years ago, and now we this year we had a, a change of administration, and then um, the macroeconomic um, you know environment has been changed over time with um, different policies. So, how far would you say, or how much would you say, uh, the macroeconomic um, indices um, affect um, startups in the real estate business? Oh, so. Um, we all know that, like I said, it's still part of the funding because um, these days people don't even want to invest in real estate. Even banks mm -hmm. will tell you that they don't give loan to real estate companies yeah. because m people are not buying property as such to them. They think the, the, the market demand is, is dropping because of inflation everywhere, mm. you are having price increases everywhere. In fact, people want to eat first before they start thinking of buying houses mm. and stuff, you know. And people in diaspora that feel they, they want to do business, not those that just want to buy for, for residential or whatever, those that want to do business in Nigeria, they are looking at the exchange rate and it's not encouraging for them. So most of them are taking their money out. So it's, it has really, really affected a lot of startup companies. Mm. If not just startup companies, most of the companies are really... Mm been affected, you know, but I, I hope this new administration, they are mm. going to do some things to, mm. to caution the effects. Okay, so fine. Now, what would you really advise? Now, I know we've talked about some of the challenges that, uh, uh, that are facing um, real estate development in the country. Now, but some people, despite the challenges, they still want to 
linger in the business, they still feel that uh, there's much to be done. You know, for someone who is just really starting out right now, and um, is talk you've talked about education, you've talked about information and focus now, so what other aspects should he be focusing on aside from this client, client retention that you've talked about? There's, there's a say that not all things are glitters are gold. True. You need to understand this ab initio. That is not because the business is viable. Mm. It will have its own challenges. There are unique challenges. Unique challenges. I can't start mentioning on her, you. you know. So you need to be ready for this challenge. Mm. There's a level you get to in business that you play to. So it takes additional information, additional knowledge. It yes. takes people to push you further than mm. the way you are. So you need to be ready to be mentored. You need to be ready for any challenges that come. Challenges mm. comes in different manners. The mm. challenge you're going to face in this project might be different from the one you face in this project. So it comes in, in, in a unique um, uh, mm. system. So you need to be ready for this. And you need, your purpose needs to be clear. Okay. You need to have a clear purpose. If you have a clear purpose, mm. the sky will be your step. Okay. As well. So as we round off right now, still talking about real estate generally now, this is a sector where you play and you, um, you've, you've been there for over 10 years, you know, and you know all of um, the issues, all of the challenges, the prospect, even threats. You know, how can government come uh, in maybe in terms of policies or regulations to ensure that um, the real estate market is stabilized and a bit of sanity in it? So I, I, I think the first thing is, um, which I think they, they are doing, but probably m maybe they need to, to do more. Mm. Maybe they need to do more. Mm. It's um, mm, having a regulatory body that will really do the job, not just there to... to to exploit people, you know, mm. people that will really do the job, an association that will do the job, that will, that will help to enlighten people, that will help to, to um, reduce the risk, you know, that's number one. Mm. Um, government also need to put more money in, in real estate because um, I think as of February this year, um, real estate contributed 4.9 percent to right. the GDP of the, uh, of, of the nation, and we know now this this time around we're talking about diversifying because that's that's the way to go now. Mm. So if you're diversifying into uh, buying local product and stuff, real estate is also what happens within. So if government can put more money into it, we would have enough time. Like like for us, because we can't do beyond 12 12 month payment plan. Mm. But if government can come in and assist financially, mm. we, could, we could bring so we'll talk in about mortgages you know, for like mortgages 10 years. For like 10 beyond. years, for like 20 years mm. and stuff, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, um, Oladiji. You know, there's always never enough time when you are talking about um, salient issues because time is never your friend. But I'm sure we'll have to bring you back on the show to talk more about um, the I'll real estate happy development. To come. All right, my guest has been Oladeji Adeoye. He is a seasoned professional in the real estate uh, firm. And of course, uh, he is a visionary founder of uh, Fine Breaks and Properties and Investment Limited. And he joined me to talk about the challenges for startups in real estate in Nigeria.